So creating a photo shot so creating a photo slideshow in iMovie, like I said, I know I've said this so many times, but it's actually really easy. So let's go ahead and get started. If I creating a photo slideshow in iMovie. So to create a photo slideshow in iMovie, it's really simple. So let's start to create a photo mm. to create a photo slideshow in iMovie. It's actually really simple. So let's get started. Now, to Im now to import my photos, the best place to save it, the best place to import your photos from is from the best place to import your photos is the best place to import your photos is from iPhoto. The best place to put pictures in your iPhoto. Creating an app, creating a creating a creating a Creating a photo slideshow is actually really easy in iMovie. So, <coughs> creating a photo slideshow in iMovie is actually really easy. So let's get started. To access my photos, I want to click on this camera icon right here. Or I can hit Command 2. And that opens up all my photos in iPhoto. So let's go to look in events. And I'm going to create an art photo show. Because that's why that's why I really like iMovie because it really and that's why I like iMovie because it can be used for family events or professional events. I I've used it many a times to create a demo reel or just to showcase my art. So I have these pictures right here, and one way I can grab them all, highlight them, and drag them directly onto my project library, and there we go. And the, the default time is four seconds, and it adds a Ken Burns effect to my photos, which is nice because it gives it some motion. It kind of gives your paintings a little bit more animated instead of just, you know, just being still. But if we wanted to change the Ken Burns effect, we just click on this icon right here, and that opens up our Ken Burns effect, and we can manipulate it. So this green box is the start point. This, that red box is the end point. So we can stretch that out, and we can hit done, and we can check it out. So with photo slideshows, transitions, so with photo slideshows, it's pretty good to add transitions. So let's go ahead and click. I think the best one you can do is cross dissolve, because you don't want to get too flashy you want to focus on your art or just a picture or just the pictures themselves so let's go ahead and take a look at that now that was pretty quick and I bet you it's probably at the default at oh, 0 0.4 seconds so let's add let's make that a second and hit done so now let's take a look so we'll come back here and we'll add some more transitions and just pretty much drag them in between these gaps. And there we go. And then this is since this is the my last photo, I can do a nice fade to black. Open up my transitions. Actually, open up my titles. And we'll add a title right here. And we'll just go to black. And we can do Okay, so now we have the basics. And like I said, we can go we can go in and edit if we do want the Ken Burns effect, which is good for some pictures, but like sometimes it's going to crop it. So if we want it to fit, we just double click and then hit fit and it's, there's going to be no animation. So let's hit done. And um, we'll ha go ahead and change this one because sometimes the Ken Burns is pretty cool, but you're going to miss out on some of your um, art. 
if you're doing it might work better if you're doing it for a photo sl slideshow for your family but since we're gonna do it for an art project let's go ahead and fit most of our now for the clouds I think this one would be pretty cool with the Ken Burns effect because it's gonna almost animate it so we'll start off in the sky and end down low and let's see this one let's look at my MJ bag now that one it's really kinda small so let's go ahead and fit same thing with this Manny Pacquiao bag and same thing with this bag here and this lunch bag alright so now that we've done all that let's go ahead and hit command G and see what we do so let's go ahead and so let's go ahead and hit command G so so let's go ahead and hit command G So that was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even get to the credits, but I just wanted to basically teach you how to add, how to create a photo slideshow. Well, since we watched the whole thing, let's go ahead and finish and show you how those credits look. Fade to black. Thank you for watching. I think which is a nice thing to say. And if you like adding music, this is pretty much as simple as clicking and dragging. So let's click on this music icon here, and. Let's say you wanted to publish this to the web and you wanted to make money off of it. Apple has plenty of music that you can use that's copyright free so you won't get in trouble. Or if you're just doing it for yourself or maybe doing it for a demo reel, you know, just to hand out, you're not planning on making any money, you can go ahead and use music from your iTunes library. So, and if you wanted to add music, all you have to do is pretty much just click and drag that right into your project and then you have and then you have music on your and then you have music in your project well I hope this helped you to learn well I hope this helped you well I hope this helped you create a photo slideshow this has been Ken from Mahalo.com and thanks for watching